So right now for you at 11 o'clock, as the cases rise, many are now wondering if businesses will once again be asked to adapt. As you heard moments ago in New York City, they are already closing down restaurants there starting again on Monday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now in Hartford with more details on the outlook for us here in Connecticut. Matthew. Yeah, Mark, you know, right now, Governor Lamont says things are going to stay the way they are for now, but businesses are looking at what's going on in New York and they feel that the writing is on the wall. You always hear that Walmart doesn't start making money till December. Restaurants, more or less, we make our big money now. And at the iconic Peppercorns Grill in Hartford, indoor business was healthy on this Friday night. This is the busiest night we've had this week. I'm grateful. But owner and chef Dino Chalfi is bracing for another hit. Today, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announcing New York City will suspend indoor dining as hospitalizations soar. Slow the rate of spread, slow the rate of hospitalization. Better if we stay open for the little bit we got. Governor Lamont today was asked what's in store for Connecticut. He acknowledges closing businesses won't stop the virus spread, but he isn't ruling it out. They don't stop, um, you know, eating indoors. They just go to a different environment. But uh, we're watching this carefully. And as you know, I like to do things in uh, collaboration with my fellow governors. Longtime diners say they want to make the decision to dine in person, get takeout, or simply take a break and stay home. If you close the restaurants, you're probably going to affect other economies, parts of the economy as well. I don't think that's appropriate to do if you can help it. If you have to do it, you have to do it, but hopefully not. Chalfie and Peppercorns are preparing two takeout menus for what they believe will be the inevitable, but they remain focused on the future, committed to keeping this Italian institution that's been serving Hartford for 31 years open for at least one more. I'm going to be so grateful when this is all over with. I even bought myself an ornament. It's my old family with masks on it, toilet paper, disinfectant. It's going to be a memory. It's going to stay on my tree every year because we're going to say, remember the bad times. All right, so no new restrictions in Connecticut right now. Checking in on some of our neighbors, though, Rhode Island does not have indoor dining. Massachusetts does have indoor dining, but they're capped at 40% capacity, which is lower than the 50% that we have here in Connecticut. That is the latest live here in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel Therapist News.